In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add interactions to AI characters in Frosty Editor for PVZ GW2. First, go to the Gameplay folder. Now scroll down and open Soldiers. Single click AI and open the soldier file of the AI you've been working with, which in my case is Super Bean. So I'll open a soldier file up, open the object, open the components, open item 0, the body component data, and then open the components of that, and we'll scroll down until we find game shared player entry component data, item 21. So we need to change the input concept definition. Right now it's pea shooter input concepts. Let's find that item in the data explorer. Now we'll click on Venice Soldier input concepts and assign it to the input concept definition. We'll also need to change the input mapping. To do that, we'll just click on Venice Soldier input mapping and assign it there. This allows you to access the pause menus in AI, but we still need to make it so that they can interact with objects. All you have to do for this is create a new item, and then open any human soldier file, open up the object, open the components, open item zero, open those components, and scroll down until you find PVZ Entity Interaction Component Data. And copy that item. Now go back to the AI Soldier file. And paste it to the new item. Finally, we can launch the game to see if we can interact while we're playing as AI. Alright, first things first. Let's try accessing the pause menu. Yay, it worked! And now we'll try interacting with an object. That works too. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and please do not use it online.